Welcome to the Serpentine Creative Channel. I'm your host, Stella Williams, and you're watching Author Talk. Hey guys, welcome back to the Serpentine Creative Channel. I am so excited to be here. It is a new year. It is 2020 and this is my very first video of the year. And I know it's late. I know that January is almost over. <laughs> um, but what I've got to say about that is it just really took me a long time to figure out what I wanted my first video of the year to be. You know, whether it was going to be book review or a submission of my reading for 2019 or, you know, a discussion about the RWA shenanigans. But in the end, I just decided to just have an open and honest chat with you about <laughs> my year so far <laughs> in 2020. Um, have I been reading? I have. Have I been reading fantasy, paranormal, sci-fi by authors of color? No. No. Um, <laughs> I've been traveling a lot and I've been kind of taking a mental break from my usual reading um, and trying to challenge myself um, and to advance myself as a writer by you know, reading more and reading things outside of what I write um, to get a feel for different styles and different uh, wording and that sort of thing. Um, and can I say that what I've been reading has been the best of things? No. I've had some favorites and I've definitely had some that I probably should have DNF'd. Uh, but for the most part, it's really just like solidified for me that I am a romantic at heart and <laughs> and I like romance novels and I like my romance to sometimes be like very sexual and on other times I want it to be very sweet and um, but at the very least I would just like it to not be so predictable. Like that was one of my biggest pet peeves with the books that I read outside of the romance genre and even some in the romance genre was that nothing was really surprising. Everything was very formulaic and by the book and and there was no like I read a horror novel and wasn't scared and I'm the biggest scaredy cat in the world let me tell you I'm like I can't even watch certain commercials because they creep me out like just <laughs> like and I was reading this horror novel that's supposed to be being turned into a movie or something and I was reading it and like even on the cover I was like oh this book will give you nightmares and I'm just like no no not at all and <sighs> maybe I'll make a video about that one specific book um but anyway <laughs> later uh but anyway yeah, so I've been doing reading. I just haven't been doing reading about books that I would want to promote really on this channel. Um, as far as my writing, I had an issue with an editor that I hired. Um, and so that really pushed uh, the release of my next book by a lot. But thankfully, over the holidays, I found a really great editor, really great editing company. I'm getting back on track with my publishing schedule. And as far as writing new books, I have so many ideas. I literally like have an entire list. So I'm just going to do a quick try. All of this on here backwards so you can kind of see but not see. <laughs> um, all of this on here are I are books or short stories that I plan to write this year. Whether or not they'll be published this year is a whole other thing. But at least to be written that those that's my goals for this year. The very least I plan to finish the Secret of Sarah series 
um, and the shifter shorts that are spliced in between that. So those are at the very least what I plan to get done this year. And true. Uh, my thoughts on the RWA shenanigans. Um, RW is trash. It's a dumpster fire. It's go. The ship is going down. It's been going down. Um, don't know if it's gonna be salvaged or not at this point. <laughs> um, and I uh, and I honestly don't care. I was on the fence about joining for so long. For so long, I was on the fence about joining because I had gone to local writers local chapters to visit and just felt completely out of place um, for one reason or another, not always because of race um, issues, but, you know, the shenanigans of Chad versus self-published, etc, etc, like, so many, so many different ways that I was disappointed in RWA even before, um, I bit the bullet and was like, you know what, I'm just gonna join and maybe, you know, maybe they'll prove me wrong. And they didn't. They proved me exactly right. Uh, <laughs> and since then, there's been so many other, like, organizations that have been like, oh, hey, romance writers, come join us. And in looking into those, I've just been like, you know what, you're no better than RWA. Like... Not at all. You're just as exclusionary. You're just as, you know, your membership is full, full, full of the same nice white ladies that contributed to the downfall of RWA. You know, those that want to be allies but don't want to listen <laughs> to those that they supposedly are allies for. You know, um, and yeah, I'm just not for the first time I've been like reevaluating my own position within uh, the publishing sphere, sphere. Like this was a lot of the same issues and things that made me not really want to make the jump into this being my career. You know, if I kept it as a hobby, then it wouldn't matter to me about whether or not, you know, my book won awards or, uh, you know, whether or not I was known as an author, whether or not, you know, I had to deal with the shenanigans of people, you know, looking down on me, going to book signings and having people bypass my table or continually ask me if I'm the person who wrote those books and like, like a little passive aggressive and slightly less passively aggressive thing that happened to you as a author of color in the publishing industry. Um, yeah, so it just it's just this whole situation has rehighlighted the, those same issues um, that you know me that while on one hand disheartened me at the same time uh, gave me the drive and the need to go ahead and just do it to go ahead and start Serpentine Creative to go ahead. Uh, the public, my publishing company, to go ahead and start Serpentine Creative, the channel, to help uplift uh, uh, authors of color uh, that wouldn't necessarily wouldn't necessarily get the same kind of support as non POC authors um, in this genre, you know. Um, so. And just, you know, to be representative, you know, to say, yes, there are black business owners in publishing. There are black romance authors that write sci-fi, fantasy, and paranormal that are also not YA. Um, not to hate on the YA community at all. I'm not even, I don't want that kind of smoke. I'm just saying, like, um, as problematic as the YA community has been 
they at least have diversity <laughs> more so than any other genre at this point you know so i ugh. january has really sucked january has totally felt like 2019 2.0 <laughs> um and I'm really, really hoping that this is the, you know, last straw sort of scenario where, you know, okay, RWA went down, you know, we're, we're not going to suffer these fools anymore kind of situation and the rest of 2020 um, is... A lot of us having a clearer picture of where to go from here where to move forward a way to move forward a way to champion diversity um, and yeah I don't even know if that makes sense I just I needed to say something I said it it's there thank you so much for watching and uh, have a happy 2020, y'all. Yes, I... Oh, don't forget to <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. And have a nice day.